Hello and welcome to Naomi's Scrappy DIY Retreat. Thank you so much for joining me today. Look down in the description below and you will find the materials needed in order to craft these Dollar Tree items with me. The first craft um, is going to be two crafts made out of those rings that you see there. They're binder rings found in the school supply section in Dollar Tree. And I'll, I'm just showing you what I did. I, I found a book and I wrapped around the twine several times and then I slid it off and I cut it. So I had already um, done part of this and then, and then realized I hadn't videoed it. So I went ahead and just showed you that's what I did. I think I wrapped it like 15, 20 times and then I cut off, trimmed off the edges. And then I just split it in half and um, put a piece of twine around it and that's how I made the loop. And then I'm putting the wrap, I'm starting to wrap the twine around the top. Make sure you glue it at the top and then just continue to wind around. And I'm going to speed this up in just a second so that you can see this. And all I'm doing is I'm wrapping this twine around. It's about a third to almost a half in or half of the way down this gnome and that's what we're making today we're making a little gnome so what you needed was like those i said those binder those little binder rings then you're going to need a bead right now i went ahead and chose the dollar tree beads and i went ahead and chose a little red nose i thought it'd be fun to give this gnome a little red nose so that's what i picked out for him so that's what i'm showing you here right now and um i'm really struggling to get this open and i'm not sure why but it's not wanting to let go so um, that's what I'm doing right now So I just glued the little bead in the place where the front is and then I took some more jute string over the top of where that bead is for his little nose and I just went around a couple times just to kind of hide his nose like his nose is underneath the brim of a hat. So that's what I just finished there and that's I wanted to show you and I forgot to tell you a couple minutes ago. So. I hope that that was easy enough and if you have any questions please um, ask me down in the description I'd be more than happy to answer and now I'm just kind of looking at it and trying to see if I need to trim it up any and I do so I'm just going to take the scissors and trim it up one more time.
So what I'm hoping, I'm hoping what you can see here is that I am taking each jute string and I'm unraveling it. It's just to make his hair, the beard part fuller. And so I'm not doing every single strand. I'm kind of doing like every other in the front, just the front. I'm, I didn't do any in the back. So that's just what this is showing is just unraveling um, each, again, each twine piece. So to also make this for the head part, if you wanted to make a different looking gnome, you can just give him a little burlap cap. And all I did was I wound a piece of burlap around the top part of his head, put a little, little decoration on it, and that was it. And then made two gnomes out of one thing of jute. Okay, so now we need the binder clips, obviously, because you can see as we're doing it right now. And all I did, um, we're making two crafts out of these. One is just out of jute and one is out of red and white twine. I'll go ahead and show you both of them, although it's basically once you get the one done, they're both the same. But I just took a piece of jute and I hot glued it to the ring. And then I just started wrapping and I kept wrapping and wrapping. And I made sure that everything was tight so that way you couldn't see any metal through the jute. To finish it up, you just hot glue that last piece of jute down and you have a nice jute ring. And then I just cut off a leaf and I just cut it up into three teeny tiny little leaves that I was going to hot glue onto this wreath form to make like little um, holly leaves. And then I also cut up some little berries and I hot glued all of that down onto the wreath form. And I had to use the tweezers and I found these in the Dollar Tree in the beauty section. That's how I was able to get these teeny tiny little leaves to stay onto the wreath form. Once that is finished then I just took another piece of jute as you can see here I'm putting on the berries and then I just took a piece of jute and just wound it around the top knotted it off and that is what i used to hang it up with and it was a cute simple little craft now it does take a little bit of time but when you get done with it it is so stinking cute you're gonna love it and you can do it so easy while you're watching a movie or or just talking with somebody or doing something like that So the next one we're doing, again, like I said, it's exactly the same as the first, except for them just using this red and white twine. And I got this, I believe, at Walmart or either Amazon.com. If I can find out where I bought this red and white twine at, it's I guess it's twine or baker's, um, baker's stuff. I can't think of what it's called now. Baker's twine. Um, then I will link it down below. But again, all I did was I unwound some of this twine and then I cut it off. That way it'd be easier to continue to wrap. And I hot glued the very tip of it. That way it would not come unraveled while I was wrapping.
And of course, just to finish this off, you're going to do the same thing as you did with the, the brown jute one and just put a dab of hot glue on it and finish it off. And then I just took these little sprigs I think I found at the Dollar Tree and just cut it off a couple ends of it. I tied a cute little jute bow and I put that on top of it. And that was, and then I just did the same thing with the string, just added some more string at the top, added a few more little things on it, and that was it. It was another simple, cute little DIY that, again, takes a little bit of time, but when it's done, it is so stinking cute. So I hope that you like this. If you like this, I hope you give it a thumbs up and um, share it with somebody else, help grow my channel. If you've subscribed already, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do so. Um, and again, here are the two cute little jute wreaths. Aren't they adorable? I think they're adorable. So the next project we're doing is I ended up doing three different kinds of these. Um, in one of the Dollar Trees I found, I found three different colors of these little balls. And so I did a white one, a brown one, and a tan one. And I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't video the tan one because you, I'm already going to show you me with the video of the white and the brown and there's no need to go ahead and um, show you also the tan one. So the, I, the only thing that I did differently was just how I ended up tying them off. So you'll see that in just a second. I'll explain what I mean. So all I did was I tried to find two of the smaller and larger balls that would fit close together. So what I mean here is, is that they're not necessarily spherical. So you want to find the best edge on the small one and fit it into a hole in the wooden part of that ball, just so that you can get more glue and more, more surface area to stick to. And I hope that makes sense. And if I'm not explaining myself well, please just let me know down in the description and I will try to explain it hopefully a little bit better. So that's just all I did. I mean, that's, it's, it's very easy. So all I did was I stuck them together. I waited a couple minutes for it to dry, I held it down, then I released it and then I held it down again. And then I just made, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to use to hang it. And while I was trying to decide that, I decided that on this first one, because it's white, I wanted to go ahead and use this Dollar Tree infinity scarf that I'm using for other projects. And I just cut a little teeny tiny strip of it. And I do want to say, if you've not used this before, it has a funny little texture. However, it is very, it is stretchable. So if you cut something a little too short, you do have a little bit of play. I actually had too much here and had to snip some of it off. But I also try to expand it a little bit. It just, um, I think it helps it look a little bit better because it kind of curls it up, makes it look like a scarf when it is actually on the snowman so again all i did was i tied this and i glued this and you'll just be able to see that in just a second I also had snipped the ends just to make little fringes on it and it was so cute I just used my little scissors from the Dollar Tree such a cute little detail to add that just really enhances the look of the scarf on the snowman Again, what I ended up doing was just hot gluing the end of that thread so that way it would feed through much easier. I also used the tweezers to help me pull the thread through the top of that snowman's head so that way we would have um, something to hang it up on. And I didn't think that was enough, so I actually went back into that 
uh, buffalo check and just cut a little teeny tiny piece so I can make him like a little teeny tiny little beret to put on his head and it was just I didn't really shape it well I just kind of put it on the top and it really did make a difference it was so stinking cute on the top of his head and again I just did the same exact thing with the brown one I glued it I found the best place for them to sit together and fit together I glued it but for the this one I used twine as his scarf I doubled it over and f that way when I tied it and glued it he would have four ends hanging down and at first I was going to do a bow and then I decided I didn't like that so I undid it and redid it again I think on the tan one I used a different kind of twine it was a thicker twine and none of them ended up having bows but all of them ended up having little hats on their heads so again a really cute simple quick idea and it's just I just love it so I did the same thing for him but I gave him a jute um, string to hang him up on the tree and I had I really had to work with him to get this twine through his head which is funny because instead of putting it through um, the middle space I only ended up threading it through one of those pieces and I don't know what they're called but it's a that wooden ball but I only ended up putting it through one piece instead of multiple pieces. So then I just tie it up and then I bring it up and then just make a little knot in it to hang it from the top. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And again, just a couple cute little simple DIYs from the Dollar Tree using some things that you find all over the place. You usually find that jute. You always find the beads you always find usually find those Dollar Tree binder rings so just some fun little crafts with these items that are usually found in the Dollar Tree can make some simple cute ornaments so I hope that you enjoyed this and if you did I hope that you give this a big thumbs up if you aren't subscribed please subscribe and help join this channel and help grow this channel and for those of you who have subscribed thank you so much and i appreciate it i appreciate you and so i hope to see you back again real soon i have some more videos that i need to finish and upload but again thank you so much and it was so fun if you enjoyed this i hope that you would give this a little snowman emoji down in the comments below that way I know that you enjoyed it and then that way we can just kind of interact with each other. Again, thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a wonderful blessed day and are a blessing to someone else. Thank you and God bless.